Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today because if you, like me, have tons of clothes in your closet with nothing to wear, then I have a solution to that problem. It's something you've probably thought about before, but I'm going to actually do it today and I think it will go a long way in helping to solve that problem. In this video, I'll be showing you how both of us can shop our closets to pre-select a series of outfits to choose from each morning when we're getting dressed. But before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today and this t-shirt, which is a great friend's t-shirt and all of the jewelry and the dream pair shoes are all from Amazon. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty channel, I hope you'll join our family. We have a lot of fun here. If you're over 50 and you're interested in great skincare, makeup, and fashion, then I hope you'll click that bell and subscribe. Now, before we get into the meat of this video, I wanted to show you the current state of my closet. Okay, this is the problem that I'm dealing with. I have winter clothes up there, and then I have my current clothes down here. And although I have cleaned them out, I have gotten rid of a lot of stuff in my closet. I still have a lot of clothes, and so I'm pretty confused. I have clothes over here and belts and that kind of thing back there. On the floor, I have some of my Teddy Blake purses. I have them on the floor because those are really the ones I wear all the time. I just love them. I think they're understated elegance. There's another one. But I do have other like designer type purses. And I don't know. I just feel like they're a little pretentious maybe. In fact, I did just buy one. I bought a Louis Vuitton on my cruise. But I don't wear it nearly as much as these basic kind of ladylike purses there. But anyway, there is my closet. And I am going to work with you guys today to figure out some great outfits that I can have in my cell phone and use so I'm not so confused in the morning and so I actually have something to wear. And before I started this video this morning, that's what I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to go in my closet, spend two or three hours playing with my clothes, creating outfits, then taking pictures of them on my cell phone and then saving them into the picture album. And you can do that very easily. You just go to all photos and then you click create album and you can actually create an album of great outfits for you to refer to in the future. But you know, when I got to thinking about it, I realized that instead of going in and laboriously trying to figure out each outfit, figure out the accessories, figure out the shoes, I realized that since around my birthday, I've been doing fashion videos and actually I had cleaned out my closet pretty extensively and gotten rid of a lot of things and I purchased a lot of new things and all of those new things I showed to you in videos and I usually showed them with complete accessories, shoes, that kind of thing. So I realized that for me, I really already had those pictures. I had those videos. I just had to go in and create little still photos of each outfit to put them in my cell phone. And so in just a few minutes, I'm going to be showing you all of those outfits. And I will tell you there are tons of outfits and I won't be able to list every item in those outfits below the video. But for the major items that you see over and over again in those videos, I will go ahead and list those items below the video in case you're curious. But the whole point of this video is not to get you to go out and buy anything at all. The whole point is for you to do just what I did and to go into your closet, play dress up a little bit. It only takes two to three hours to play dress up, to figure out some great outfits that you look wonderful in. Then once you get an outfit, you take a cell phone picture, then you save it into the album on your cell phone. And if you have ways that you get organized in terms of your wardrobe, that you figure out the outfits that you have so they're readily accessible for you to just grab when you have an occasion that you need them, please let us all know in the comment section below the video because that way we can help each other. Well, without further ado, let me show you my outfits.
Well, that was a look at many of my casual outfits, and I also gathered pictures of all my more dressed up, business-like, and evening type outfits. And if you'd like to see a similar video about those outfits, please let me know that in the comment section. Well, at this point in the video, I always like to leave you with a thought for the day, and this one comes from Marissa Peer. She is a psychologist from London who is very famous. In fact, she has worked with models and actresses and sports figures and politicians in this country and royalty in her country to help all of them lead better, more successful lives. And she did a video where she was talking about the petty annoyances that we let get us down in life. For instance, something like, oh, my husband leaves his clothes on the floor. My husband leaves his dirty coffee cup in the sink. This traffic jam is driving me crazy. And you know what she said made so much sense. She said when those things happen, try to turn it around and get a different perspective. And that sometimes your problem can be someone else's life dream. For instance, in talking about a husband who throws his clothes around or leaves dirty cups in the sink, how many women out there could only dream of having a husband to clean up after? Or in the instance of the traffic jam, how many people don't even have a car to be in a traffic jam? When you're in the car frustrated about the traffic jam, remember that at least you have a car. At least you have a job to go to. And you have income from that job that supports a household. I really loved what Marissa Peer shared that sometimes our little problem is someone else's greatest life dream. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our days, let's try to be grateful even during those irritating times. When those type of occasions occur, let's remember to stop and pause and turn it around a bit to get a new perspective and realize that our little problem really isn't so bad after all. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.